guys, these seem to be drying off. Put up at the back, just so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Right, um, I'm gonna use some of this Distress um, Micro Stain Tree Lot. I'm gonna use some of that. Look, but I've gotta shake it really well before I use it. And I'm just gonna do the outside of these green bits with that. Now this stuff does stain your hands, so I've got to be careful because I don't want green hands all week. Mind you, I've got some of that um, alcohol I can wash it off with that I use for my um, alcohol inks. Um, I'm going to do these ones first. We'll do them up here. It's about to get wet on here. I've already got this all over my hands. Right, let's just spray it first. I don't know if I can take you up and off. Okay. All right, okay. Hmm, there we go. All right, and a bit of this one. dark in some places and it's got lovely sh uh, shine on it right okay I don't want my hands covered in this is the top part there I just want a little bit more and then that'll run down and what we'll do is we'll get the heat gun and we'll just set that now so we're just doing a little bit more right okay that's uh, heated up. Hopefully it'll dry a bit because it's um, a little bit, still a little bit tacky. Um, but yeah, use your heat tool on it to dry it out a little bit. But remember, don't bother using a hairdryer. It's not the same heat. The embossing heat guns are like a heat gun, you know, a proper professional heat gun. Um, and they really do make the metal really hot quickly. So just blasts here and there all around should do it. Don't keep it in one place because you'll start bubbling up the paint and then you'll start burning. Um, you won't set light to the, um, the metal, but it will buckle. Some metals do buckle when you're doing that. But yeah, if you go gradually, and slowly now I've got some ink gold which is one of my favorite things to use ever um this one's still soft which is great but I want to go round this all the way around on the front now because this has been crackled it's gonna just sit on the top um, it won't be like perfect, um, like a painted line, but I don't care about that really. I want it to look um, mixed media-ish anyway, so I'll go with that word. Let's get some more. Yeah, this is still a bit wet. Get some more on there. Now I've got it all under me now. And I hate doing that. Right, I've got none on this finger if I know because I don't want to spread it onto the, the sides. Right, okay, I want a bit more up here. Then a bit more. Here, let's go 
go right round that side a bit. So we're building it and didn't know how to start it or anything, but you know, it's getting there now. So now we've got a nice bit on it and see how that's come out. Look at that, look. It's beautiful. The colours in that, it's lovely. It's gone um, from a green, like a, a matte green to a lovely metallic frosty green. Lovely, like um, Christmas tree green, lovely. Um, let me just get this out my nail. And we've got the back in as well. I think I'll leave that for a little while. That take about probably half an hour to an hour to dry that stuff. I'm just trying to get this ink off, but it won't come off my fingers at the moment until I get some of the uh, what's it called? I I something alcohol. It's pure neat alcohol. I'll get some of that on the, my fingers and rub it off, and then it will come off. Um. Right, so the next step is um, I've cut out a piece of card. This was off of one of these big gigantic envelope backings. What you send in the post, it was just an old one. So what I've done is because this needs building up because it's in a lip. Okay, so we're going to build that up and stick that in like that so it supports it. So it raises it up a bit. And then I found a nice piece of Christmas paper that I think that would go nice with this. So I'm going to stick that in there like that. I may have to just... No, I won't because that lip won't show. That's all right. It won't show because it's going inwards. So that's what I've chose. What I'm going to do with that, so a little bit of Winker Stella. This isn't Winker Stella or the Spectrum Noir stuff in this. This is my own mix. So if we just uh, just um, put a bit of that on there. Just a little. I'll do that one there. Yeah, it's not going to... I don't think it's going to stick very well. Anyway, we'll say about that. It should dry. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But yeah... We'll see if that dries, and uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But we'll stick that into that, and then leave it to dry for a little while, and then we'll be back. Right, so the next stage is, this should be dry now, yeah, and it did take some of that glitter off that pen as well. Did dry in nice. Um, next stage is... We'll do something to cover these little holes up after. The next stage would be to put the fixings on. So, yeah, there should be two of those, yeah. I need those for the feet. And I'm going to have to sort the washers out and the nuts and what they, how they go. Um. So, what we're going to do is just fix these all together and uh it's it's real simple anyway i mean that goes across there then the bars go in then they screw on and they're holded by little tiny knots um i'll have to get everything out to do it let's see what we can do here i'm so cold this morning i've got my dressing gown on <laughs> Right, um, now, see, my holes have gone missing, haven't they, at the top. So, I think that's one there. So, refine the holes. There's one. And this is what I say, you have to, you have to uh, make sure your holes are always open because you'll never find them again. I think that's one there. Yeah, it is great, I found it. Sometimes it can be really tricky. That one needs 
poking so I'm just poking you can use a pokey tool for this but I'm just using this pickup tool this gem pickup right my holes are all open right so you've got the top and you realize the top because it's got this little slot here and that's where the alarm hammer went we're not using that anymore and then the bottom of these are legs right make sure your bells have got the holes in properly as well this one's closed and then any paint or stuff in it just remove that's it right i can't see what i'm doing properly because the lights uh it's very it's not light enough okay let's get on with this then so this goes on to here and we want to put in um which way around is it i think it's this way I'm going to lose all these little bolts in a minute, I know it. Right, hang on, let's get this bit. Um, it was a longer way, wasn't it? It's alright. Right, okay. Oh. Right, so this is what you have to do. So you have to put that through there, that onto there like that. And then get this bit. I'm st I've got ink all over my hands again. It will eventually dry. It takes a few days, so right. And then tighten it. Right. These are hand tight. I can't find a spanner anywhere, so so so. Remember, your top bit is where that opening bit is. Um, it takes a minute to put in there we go there we go and you have to tighten these up well and then make sure they're in properly and then you can get your little washers and then put them in now I'm not going to be able to show you this because I'm trying to do it <laughs> and I'm hoping that I don't lose anything. I'm going to have to try and find a tiny uh, spanner or something. Right, um, because I'm not going to be able to do these up very tight by hand. They're really awkward if you've got nails, you know. Because you're using your thumbnail to try and square it round. I'm going to try and get it on and then try and find something to tighten it with it's on at the moment but i want it a little bit tighter than that so that's one in and then i'm gonna do the other one make sure it's one of the thicker nuts and then mm, this one's gonna be a bit of a Come on, turn, turn, turn. I can see this springing off in a minute. Right, okay, that's on and tight anyway. And they're on. Let me go and find a little spun hole, sorry. Okay, guys, so I have tightened it. It's nice and tight. The tops, you've got to make sure these top pieces, I don't know what they're called, are really tight. I've got a, what is that? A six millimetre, what's it called, a socket? I don't know what they're called. But I've got the tool to put on this that can bend in, but it just won't 
sort of take it, it stands up a lot. So, um, yeah, we can't do that. But I've managed to tighten it like this by hand. And it is tight. They're nice and tight. They're firm. Now, all I've got to do is put these on, which are the legs. I've got to wipe my hands yet because I've still got I've got ink all over them, and then they put the little nuts on as well. So the legs will go in like that. Don't worry about that. There's just a bit that's fell out of there to make the hole bigger. Yeah, that hole's big enough. Now that hole's bigger, right? And then let's put it in there. This is one key to see. If you can see or not it's just in here and then you've just got to get that little knot on top of that which I can't do like this hang on a second it's on like that see there's the leg right so all you've got to do is get your what is it six millimeter all right i'm i'm very cock handed me and then just tighten it as much as possible there we go and that's on nice and firm and then just do the other one i'll just do that quickly put your little not on top of the screw bit and if you screw from the other side, it's easier to pull it on. If you hold your finger on top, the little knot. There we go. All right. And then we want to just tighten that up. Let's just check that. Yep. 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 Remember, there's got to be some a little bit of give on these bells. But that is all nice and tight in there now. So that's the legs on and the bells on. Um, so we'll move on. I'm going to go and put all my tool set away now. And then we'll move on to the next part. Hi guys. Right, we're on the decoration part. I've found three different trees I've got here. That one's a bit flat but it needs sorting out. I've got all these, I've got a bag of those, I've got a bag of those, I've got some tiny little pieces of wood chips, I've got this little fella, I've got another one over there somewhere, a little robin, I've got a load of these in my tub, and I've got some seed beads over there and some other bits. I like this, and I would have had this go on. Which way does it, which way? It went that way, didn't it? No, it went the other way. No, it didn't. It went that way. I would have loved that to go over onto there, which would have, oh, hang on. Which would have probably gone like so with that hanging down that bit. But it's not going to be stable enough. It would eventually fall off. It would have been beautiful actually on there. So we're going to leave that off. We're just going to decorate this now. So as I said in the previous one we've got this back on. And we've decorated all around. Though so I have got this round the round the sides, so it will just need touching up with some paint after everything. Or I could leave it like that, be vintage style, which it looks like anyway. Put some nice paper in there. And um, traditional. Now, what was that paper? It's from this series. It's the Castle Crafts letters letters to Santa. It's gorgeous paper, and I've used a piece like of this part that I've cut out into a circle. Um, but it has got some really lovely papers in there. It's an old, an old series, but um, don't mind using the older papers up. I'm not buying new paper just 
slowly for this project. Right, let's get me glue open. Now, what I'm thinking is I've got to do something with this bottom because my tree, let me show you, because you've got the roundness, the trees won't sit flat unless it's right in the center. So we're gonna get some glue in there. I've got some fake snow, but I don't think I'll use that. I've got these, my friend gave me them um, last week actually. These are table confetti. They'll look like, um, they, they're very nice and crystal looking. I may put some of them in the bottom actually. Is I'm going to put a few of them in, but I want some of these in as well. But I also want to try and get that tree in. Now I'm doing all this standing up, which is harder for me to do because when you're creating like that, you're not going to be able to see on the camera. And because I'm not sitting down directly to it and I'm right up above the uh, camera, bit difficult but I'll show you what I'm doing in steps if I can't so I'm gonna have to lay quite a bit of this down in here this is the right stuff isn't it yeah this is the heavy body I'm putting quite a bit of that in the bottom laying it down and I'm putting it I, I'm gonna cover them screws over I wasn't going to but I am going to I've done it with all the all the rest of them. I've covered them over, and they've been fine. If they come loose, you can tighten them on the out from the outside anyway. Just screw them again. Right, I need to get this glue into the back. See about that. Right, so we've got that in there, right? Oh, so you can see it on the camera like that. But that's what I'm trying to do. Is pull it at that back as well and it just keeps I'm hoping my nails don't get covered in this stuff because it seems to it seems my nails don't like this stuff I'm a bit at that back hang on a second guys I'll I know what I know what I want and it's getting there. Put that on there quickly. Right, so I want some of these craft tray. Right, I'm gonna get some of this on there. I want some of them little tiny diamonds in there. I'm gonna be able to show you this because I only want certain amount of these in there and not all big ones if possible right and also I want to get that tree in one of them trees what about this little one Give me a second, guys. Yeah. Oh, dropped it. Where did that go, bae? Can you find it for me? Find it? Found it? Have you? Where is it? Show me. Where is it? Oh, good girl. Bae? Good girl. Bailey finds everything. <laughs> I've got to plug this puzzle. Bailey finds everything for me. She's such a sweetheart. If I drop anything, like, I don't know, button or anything, she'll find it and she'll keep pointing at it until I pick it up. And if I don't pick it up, she keeps on and on and on until I have. <laughs> right, I've got to plug you in. Right, hopefully we're still going. I'm gonna get a couple more just in that back if I can. And then I just wanna just press on them lightly, some of the bigger ones. 
just so they stay in. Some of them are upside down, but it doesn't matter. Right, so, so far it's like that. You can't really see until that dries out. So we've got some of these. I think I've got some of these from Townland, actually. Um, have these bits come off so easily. No. I'll get some different ones out. They're all different. Right, so I want to put some of these up on the side. So let's start from the bottom. I may need some more glue in there. Um, you go in there. Yep. Can you find that one for me? <laughs> Have you got it? Oh, good girl. You didn't even have to move, did you? Oh, no. Yep, I've got it, don't worry. Yep, got it. Don't worry. I've found it. Right, let me just put that in there. Right, so what was I concentrating on? This one here. I want in there like that. And I wish these were a little bit smaller. You know, I could have used the other lights really thinking about it. I've got some miniature ones. It's all right, this glue stuff doesn't, it takes a long time to dry. It's coming out nice, but I could do with some smaller ones in there, really. Right, now, let me just put that on there. Give me a second, I'll go and get the smaller lights right so i've got some of these little ones i've got other ones like this that are clear but these i only got a few of them so i'm gonna stick them in where i can fluffy friend right i want him in there which would be nice so i've got all shapes and sizes and colors in here so let's have a look Okay, that, that bit's done. So this is what we've got so far, guys. Okay. But I'm going to put on some of that diamond dust. Now I've got this, which I cut off of, I believe it was on a candle thing. And I love this because it's vintage. Um, You see where I cut it? Because it, it was a round thing that went, the candle went in there. It was like a vintage piece. I would have loved that to be on the top of it like that. But it's not going to fit on. So I'm going to have to cut down. Uh, I'm going to cut the Pontus setter off. So maybe that, that will work. I'm hoping anyway. That will have to be cut down a bit because that stem's too big unless it goes in that hole. Will that stem go in that hole? Because that'd be a good send if it did actually. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Absolutely perfect. Oh, lovely. <laughs> And it, it's not coming out actually. I could leave that like that. Doesn't need any glue or anything. Oh, lovely. Look at that. <laughs> the leaves are free. Three leaves around it. That one's gone underneath the bell though. I want it on top. Like that. I'm not even going to glue that in because if I need to dust the clock, I can take that off. Okay. And what it needs is a bit of ribbon around here. But let me pull that tree up because it keeps falling back when I do this. Can you see? Now, what I want to do before that glue dries inside, I've got hours yet before that dries. Um, I need to get some of this diamond dust on. So let me get a piece of copier paper. Oh, I've got some of these as well, haven't I? 
I've got some of these. I've got about these. Yeah, I think we'll do these first. Right, okay. There's a nice glass little piece. I just want a, a couple in there. Here and there. Right. He's getting one in his wing. So we've got some beads on in there going on. Right, let's get this stuff done. Now, with this stuff, never rub this in your fingers because it's ground glass. And don't get it in your eye neither. And don't get it on your laminated flooring or floors or anything like that. Um, before I pour that, I need some glue here and there. Just a, just a small... I could have used normal glue actually, it doesn't matter. I just want to get a little bit here and each and everywhere. I'm going to put a little bit on that top of that bell. Yeah, I was thinking with the bells when I'd done them, you know, and the, and the outer side. Um, if I had had more time. I would have probably done a little bit of more texture in like a rust. So it would look more vintage. But I honestly, I've got so many parts of this video now. I just want to get it done. You know. So I'm fighting to get it done. Just want a bit at the back here. And get a little bit here, each and every way. So, it's uh, just tons of little tiny pieces, you know. Okay, let's try, try it then, shall we? Oh, I'll tell you where I didn't put any glue on that rim. Would have been good. One up there as well. Just here and there. Well, it we should be finished soon. Okay, guys. We're going to do this now. The diamond dust. Get all that on. Make it look nice and sparkly. Yeah, we may lose a couple of the uh, beads I've just put on the inside. I want that tree nice and sparkly. I really do. There we go. Um, I've got to be careful all the stuff doesn't drop out. Very sparkly when it dries. 
it's, it's like ice crystals it's beautiful stuff so I just want to I don't like touching this stuff because it's sharp mm, we need a bit more on them a bit more there right and then just make sure that you've got none left Okay. Put a bit on the side as well and a bit coming down there. Right. Just got to make sure the tree and the bird are stable enough. There. Now we've finished. I'm gonna maybe add a bow. I don't think I need it, but I've gotta let this dry out. So You'll see this when it's completely done. I'll take it outside, show you it properly. Um, I won't need to glue this down actually because it's sitting nice and tight in in the top. Um, yeah. So the whole project cost me um, what was that? Two pound fifty for the clock, basically and yeah and odd bits and pieces from my own stash that i had over from christmas from last year so i'm pleased with that you know and i didn't have to go around traping around the shops trying to find bits and pieces to put inside it it will look really nice and i mean i can still put lights in it if i want to put lights in it um in the back so yeah i'll be back when this is dried out um i just thought i've got one of these uh glitter dispenser things and i've just found this and i thought i'm gonna try and put a bit of glitter on it if i can so maybe i have to get a little bit in there I've just put a little bird on the top as well. Okay. There we go. Right, we'll leave that to dry now. Put this glitter thing away.